Next, we have Representative Weiss offers amendment number two to substitute H3 to House Bill 5782. Would you like to discuss your amendment? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, more than 317,000 households where an estimated 800,000 Michiganders live throughout Michigan are known to be behind on their water bills and are facing water shutoffs according to data compiled by the Natural Resources Defense Council. New data reveals how the threat of water shutoffs looms over families in urban, suburban, and in rural areas across our state. It makes no sense that here in the Great Lakes states, families that fall on hard times are finding their water shut off, especially now that we're um, still within the throes of a pandemic. Safe and sufficient water is known to be an essential human health and be essential to human health, and families should be and should be a fundamental right here in the Great Lakes state. No family should be worried in the morning when they wake up whether or not their water has been turned off and if they can feed their kids or bathe their kids. Um, I know I previously served on city council and one of the number one things that my residents would complain to me about was the cost of water, um, which is necessary for local governments to be able to fund our critical infra water infrastructure. If, Approve this funding will provide direct relief to Michiganders struggling with their water bills without putting an extra burden on already underfunded local communities and water systems. Um, and so for that, I move my amendment. 